Welcome to Cat Chat. Today's topic is feline dental health. To shed some light on that topic, we have a very special guest. Actually, a couple of very special guests. We have Dolly and Smokey from Houndstooth. To start, can you give us a little bit about your background and about tell us about Houndstooth? Sure. We are a non-anesthetic veterinary dental hygiene company. We clean dog and cat teeth on a professional level without the use of sedatives or anesthesia. Awesome. Why do we care about caring for our cat's teeth? Cats in the wild, you don't see them brushing their teeth, they're going in for cleanings. So why do domestic kitties need it? Well, for one reason, uh, domestic cats live longer and they don't have the opportunity to eat a lot of raw foods normally the way a wild cat would or a feral cat. So when we feed a cat a basic diet of kibble, which is a grain-based diet, they get a lot more refined carbohydrates and that contributes to a lot more dental disease. The bacteria in the mouth doesn't stay in the mouth, it tends to circulate in the bloodstream and it can lodge in the heart and kidney and liver. So it can suppress the immune system and cause internal organ problems. So we have my reluctant volunteer Smokey here. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to show you what a dirty side of a mouth would look like. So when you're looking at your cat's mouth, you can look for some of these signs. For instance, let's take a look at Smokey's mouth here. If you look, you can see that he has a dark coloration to his teeth. They're not bright oh, white. Yeah. You can see that along the top of the gum line, he has a bright red line of gingivitis. And if you touch his teeth, you can actually rub a little bit of the, the placky slime off of his teeth. He also has a tooth that's going to need extraction. This tooth right above my finger mm -hmm. has what's called a resorptive lesion. It's a hole in the tooth. If you look very closely at yep. a cat, you can see that the gum line drops down over the tooth a little bit. Underneath that is a hole in the tooth. It's a very common tooth disease for cats, and the only way to treat it currently is to extract the tooth under anesthesia. Smokey's had this side of his mouth already cleaned, and compared to the other side, you can see that his teeth are bright white, He's still got a little gingivitis along the back area where there was a lot of problems, but the rest of his teeth look clean and his gums are a nice, even bubblegum pink color. That's what we want to look for. No holes in the teeth, no, no gray or green or black gunk climbing on them, and we want a nice, fresh mouth. Brushing your cat's teeth is very important. Most people cannot brush their cat's teeth successfully because they don't know a few of the <laughs> tricks. Cats just don't volunteer to have a toothbrush shoved in their mouth. And how often should you do this? If you can do it every day, that would be fantastic. If the cat has a problem, a dental problem, it's really important for you to do it every day. If the cat has a nice mouth, once or twice a week should suffice. And start when, when they're kittens, correct? Starting when they're kittens will help them get used to having their teeth touched and their mouth manipulated. And usually a cat will need a first cleaning when he's about a year and a half to two and a half years old. But if the diet is good and you're doing your home care, you could literally go an entire lifetime without needing a professional cleaning. Our preferred diet for cats is the closest thing to a natural diet you can get. Some people are creeped out by feeding a raw meat diet, so there are some modifications you can make to suit your lifestyle and your preferences. But ideally, you have to keep in mind that a cat is an obligate carnivore. They're designed to eat meats and they need to have those fresh meats. They're not designed to eat cooked meats, nor are they designed to eat crunchy foods or any grain or corn-based diets. Okay, and what about um, dental treats, like greenies and, and other kinds of dental treats? Do those work? I am not a big fan of greenies, and this is why. Greenies are empty calories. It's like giving your kid a big crunchy cookie. And since we have the opportunity to control where our calorie source is for our pets, Trying to give them something that is fresher and healthier maximizes the use of those calories. Also, greenies are basically glycerin and starch. Not really any kind of benefit except that they seem to like them. On the other hand, life is short and everybody needs a cookie once in a while, <laughs> so you don't have to beat yourself up. Just keep in mind you have to compare it to giving your child a cookie. Does it help with the teeth at all? I'd love to say it does because that's what it's promoted as, but in my personal experience we really have not seen a greenie be a deciding factor on whether a cat's mouth remains healthy. Really what changes the mouth is the environment and that environment has to be controlled by diet and home care. So bottom line is um, brush your cat's teeth regularly. You'll show us how to do that. Like once a week at the very least, correct? Correct. <laughs> and um, keep an eye on your cat's teeth, look for problems, and feed them a good diet. Anything else? No, I think that's about it. 
Next week, we'll learn how to brush our cat's teeth. In the meantime, be sure to check out our Kitty of the Week and help us find him a home. Have a great week and see you next time on Cat Chat. Thank you.